So I'm, my, my name is Dan Galvin, and I'm playing roles in both uh, Johnny C.P. and Trial by Jury. My name is Mark Boschke, and I'm doing super titles. I'm Linda, I'm the lawyer. I'm Sarah Terman, and I'm the stage manager. My name is Jeff Lampert, and uh, I am playing Maestro Spinanocchio in um, Johnny Skiki, and uh, I am in the gallery, the peanut gallery for uh, Trial by Jury. My name is Matt, and I'm playing Marco. My name is Gregory Spear, and I am playing the role of Renuccio. My name is Kathy Lowe Miller, and I am the concertmaster of the Pit Orchestra. My name is Joel Green, and I'm the oboe player. Diamond violin. Linda Jansen, string bass. Uh, I'm Hazel Sherlock and I'm playing viola. My name is Hug and I am the, one of the violinists. My real name or my character's name? Yeah. My real name, Doreen Finkelstein. My involvement in the show is I am a member of the jury, a trial by jury. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to the sound uh, to a soundtrack and see on the way over here, which is what I often do. What do I do? I, I definitely do a mental checklist during the during the day, reminding myself to check the props beforehand. That, um, uh, and sometimes I jot things down if, if I need to do that. So I have my script and I go through all the lines and I just kind of speak them a little bit or think think it out in my <laughs> head uh, every day because. I can't tell you how many times I've been on stage and I'm just like, oh shit, what's the next line? Oh my. <laughs> um, yeah, everything. She does everything. Yeah, a lot of paperwork. She does everything. <laughs> She's really awesome at it too. Because it's tech week, um, it's a lot of paperwork, a lot of emailing people. So like pretty much every day I send the cast more reminders um, of stuff they need to know and upcoming events. I also like... In my script, I have all of the cues written in it, but I go over those fairly frequently and I make sure that like any notes that I need to make sure I can call the show correctly are put in. I try to eat someone light when I'm, when I'm going to be on stage. And um, I second Dan's uh, dance thing with eating, which I have completely failed to do today. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat before performance. I'm starving okay. afterwards, so I pig out oh. afterwards. <laughs> Each night? Yeah. Well, I just, I, I come straight here from my teaching studio. Uh -huh. So I do my, my practice, my wood shedding in the morning. Uh -huh. And sometimes I have a little period of time between students. When I do prepare, I read through all the music to make sure that I'm familiar with it. Uh, once I see the music, yeah, there's always a few measures I have to practice. But too. Yeah, I mean, normally the Gilbert and Sullivan isn't very hard, but the opera is pretty difficult this time. I practice the difficult parts when I can. I try to come early and practice uh, on the pages that I've circled, and sometimes I turn down the corner, uh, the, on the top corner of the pages. Like that. I try to get enough warm up in to see what my readers do is going to do. Um, for tonight, tonight, I have a moment to bring my makeup, because tonight is our first rehearsal that we're wearing makeup, and I have my makeup. I review my music and I vocalize and I stretch my back. We've had the music learned. Um, it's nice to kind of look at it once again because sometimes at this point in the show you think you know it mm. and you've strayed a little off from what the music actually says. I practice. But then I have to give Create a sideline so that we can see each other. That's why it's been Stay separated. So, yeah, stage right, stage right, right. Uh, Speaking of what I forgot. Well, I've what always given you love with Johnny Sneaky. And Trial by Jury, I had done before, but I've never done it with an orchestra. The defending is really fun. It's fun to play a character that's not exactly nice. Oh, I was uh, just in Johnny Sneaky at West Bay, and I thought it'd be a real good thing to do it in the English translation. And trial is always a fun uh, The really cool thing is that both parts were written for a man, but because we're doing it in modern day, I get to do it as a 
Woman. I love Jonas Kiki. It was my first offer ever when I was 20 years old at San Jose State University. And then when I came down and auditioned for Jonas Kiki, they asked if I wanted to do read for the lawyers. So I love trial. I love Johnny Kiki. And trial by jury happened to be the last of GNS Cannon that I hadn't stage managed yet. I love <laughs> performing. This one's convenient and it's a great company. They put on good shows. Everyone's very friendly and excited to be here. And, and, uh, you know, some of the other companies, that you, you might start a project and it might never reach performance. I was asked to audition. I think the like looking for a tenor for two. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I never expected to do this for really. so a picture of you. Yes. Uh, All right. From what I've seen, it's done by all my tenors. <laughs> it was mainly originally for trial. Um, I still have two more shows after this to complete my Gilbert Sullivan scorecard. It's been, I think, 11 years since uh, Lyric's done that, so I figured this would probably be a good time. Uh, for Skiki, I, I didn't know a darn thing about the show. And I, uh, you know, got cast in it, so this is my first, my first opera. I play with this group all the time because the musicians are pretty good for the most part, uh -huh. so that it's musically satisfying. And equally important to me is the fact that these people are very congenial. Mm -hmm. I haven't met with hardly any tune in this orchestra. And I agree. in my experience, tune is inversely proportional to ability. This is a very congenial and pretty talented bunch of people to work with. Even the people in the cast are friendly. And of course, right now we're doing Puccini, and I love Puccini. I had never done trial before, but I love Gilbert and Sullivan because it's in that fine, wacky British humor tradition going all the way back to Chaucer. If you're really paying attention, Gilbert and Sullivan is just as funny as Monty Python. I like playing shows. I like operas. I was raised on Gilbert and Sullivan. Yes. I, it. I enjoy opera. There's a few yes. chances I can play. Part of the deal. I play it. I play all of it. My philosophy is if I'm available, I'll play. And whatever there is to play, I'll play. Hi, it's been a long time since I've played an opera, and I want to play an opera. Well, I play all the lyric theater shows if I'm available, and that's most of them. I asked my band to play this show, and I have nothing else to do in the summer, so... <laughs> I enjoy playing shows. I am doing this show because I love doing community theater, because it is just so much fun. It's fun to be out there and to sing, it's fun to be part of a show and the whole collaboration of doing a show. I've been fortunate that I've done almost every job, every job that I'm qualified to do, I've done. I've been uh, in the chorus, I've been in the pit orchestra, I've been a producer, I've been a director, um, I have been stage crew, um, I've been a stage manager. Um, and they're all different views of what it takes to put on a show and all of the pieces are important. The show does not happen without all of those pieces and it's just fun to be part of that. Who cares if I can't play? Two years ago, St. Louis and Boston were the last series. Right on the block, St. Louis. 